Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Few aircraft throughout history have captured the imagination of the world quite like the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit. More commonly referred to as the Stealth Bomber, the B-2 is one of the few flying wing aircraft to enter military service and has earned a reputation as one of the most advanced aircraft ever designed. It was first introduced in 1997, roughly eight years after taking its first flight. At 172 feet wide and 69 feet in length, the flat, nature-inspired design allows for incredible stealth capabilities. Meanwhile, the plane can reach heights of up to 40,000 feet and subsonic speeds of 630 miles per hour. All while carrying up to 40,000 pounds of bombs and other ordnance. Last but not least, the B-2 boasts a range of nearly 7,000 miles, allowing it to perform its duties in even the most far-flung areas of the world. Here you can see a pair of B-2s landing at Whiteman Air Force Base in the United States. Crews were able to conduct a hot pit refueling exercise, where an aircraft lands and parks but does not power down its engines. Instead, the pilot keeps the engines running while fresh fuel is pumped into the tanks. They also performed a live engine crew change, which ensures the B-2 can keep on a mission while giving old crew members a chance to rest. Such procedures drastically reduce downtime and maximize operational efficiency. The B-2 is heavily armed, carrying up to 20 tons of bombs and other munitions. Here you can see a B-2 being fueled and armed in Keflavik, Iceland. The stealth bomber has two internal bays, allowing it to carry 80 500-pound bombs or up to 16 B-61 or B-83 nuclear bombs. It's also capable of carrying glide bombs like the AGM-154 or so-called massive ordnance penetrators like the GBU-57. Like many other modern aircraft, the B-2 is capable of mid-air refueling. This allows the bomber to improve its overall operational range drastically. Unfortunately, the B-2 does not have the capabilities for probe and drogue refueling, in which the aircraft uses a probe to connect to a refueling basket. Instead, the flying boom method must be employed. This is when the boom operator in the tanker plane inserts a refueling rod directly into the tank of the waiting aircraft. While the B-2 has all the bells and whistles of a modern bomber, few aircraft have performed more admirably for a longer time than the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress. First introduced in 1955, the massive Stratofortress is one of the oldest serving aircraft in the United States Air Force. It is a whopping 159 feet long 
and boasts a wingspan of 185 feet. Its crew of five can reach heights of 50,000 feet and travel over distances of 8,800 miles before needing to refuel. Most importantly, the fuselage is capable of holding up to 70,000 pounds of mixed ordnance. From bombs and mines to missiles and rockets. Over the years, the B-52 has served in almost every major U.S. conflict. Where it is easily recognizable due to its eight engines and swept wing design. At anywhere between 50 and 70 years old, there's no denying that many of the first generation B-52s require a lot of maintenance. This requires close coordination between ground crews and air crews, with the latter making careful note of problems they experience and then relating them to groups like the 2nd Aircraft Maintenance Squadron or 96th Aircraft Maintenance Unit. These men and women can be seen here working on a stratofortress at RAF Fairford in England. It's easy to get an idea of the true size of this aircraft by looking at men sitting inside the massive dual engine pods. U.S. Air Force pilots assigned to the B-52 must undergo extensive training in the various components and processes of the aircraft. Though they have been updated in many ways, these veteran aircraft are quite different from other planes these men and women might encounter. For that reason, pilots require a lot of on-the-ground education, as well as significant flight hours before becoming cleared to join a B-52 crew. As with other large aircraft, it can take up to an hour to properly warm up a B-52. However, this would be a huge problem in the event of an emergency, as it would leave these planes sitting on the runway when they should be up in the air. For this reason, the Air Force came up with the cart start method. This is where small explosive charges are placed in the bomber's turbofans. This cuts their warm up time to under 15 minutes. which can make all the difference when it comes to getting crews into action as soon as possible. Piloting a B-52 is a unique experience. with most Air Force pilots describing the plane as sluggish, noisy, and uncomfortable. The plane has a very low cabin pressure differential, meaning all crew members must be on oxygen whenever they are cruising at high altitudes. To make things even more challenging, missions typically last anywhere from 10 to 25 hours. To facilitate such long mission times, the B-52 is also capable of mid-air refueling, often from tanker planes that are much smaller. Of course, having two large planes next to one another while traveling at high speeds requires careful, precise movements. Something the B-52 is not well known for. 
Still, thanks to this one advantage, the B-52 can travel for tens of thousands of miles without touching the ground. In the mid-1970s, the U.S. Air Force experimented with the idea of a large-scale supersonic heavy bomber. This eventually led to the development of the Rockwell B-1B Lancer, a variable sweep wing aircraft that was first introduced in 1986 and remains in service to this day. The Lancer is 146 feet long and boasts a wingspan of 137 feet when fully deployed and 75 feet when swept into the delta position. The B-1B can carry up to 50,000 pounds of munitions via its six external hardpoints and 75,000 pounds of bombs in its three internal bays. It's capable of reaching speeds of 830 miles per hour and altitudes of 60,000 feet. This combined with its fully loaded range of 5,100 miles makes it a highly versatile bomber capable of penetrating deep into enemy airspace to complete its mission. The aircraft is far more advanced than the B-52, but does not possess the technology of the B-2. However, the plane has seen numerous upgrades over the years, allowing it to perform better in the field and avoid some problems that plagued earlier models. It has since supported both U.S. and NATO military operations, including the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Though it hasn't seen a fraction of the combat time that the B-52 has, it has a higher payload capacity, faster top speed, and better avionics. The U.S. Air Force plans to keep its current fleet of B-1s flying through 2036. Since most aircraft are already nearly 40 years old, it's no surprise that they require quite a bit of regular maintenance. Ground crews like those seen here from the 34th Aircraft Maintenance Unit are required to perform both pre-flight and post-flight maintenance in order to keep the Lancer in top-notch condition. B-1s are also subject to corrosion and component degradation due to their high altitude capabilities. And since they operate worldwide, attention must be paid to how certain environments like deserts can affect the plane's ability to perform. The B-1's capabilities as a bomber have truly helped it stand out against its peers. Not only can it carry more bombs, but it can arrive at the bomb site faster. It can also carry a greater variety of weapons, allowing it to perform multiple roles on the same mission. And while it might not be the future of United States bombers, it has earned its place among the greats.
That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.